I was born in Danville, Virginia, the city of banks and churches. <laughs> Danville, Virginia, the mecca of show business. <laughs> My mom and dad, Skeets and Wilma Moore, were good God-fearing Christians. They raised us with a lot of pride and a lot of love. I packed up my 1971 Volkswagen Ethel, and we were headed for Hollywood, California. I was gonna be a big movie star! <laughs> when I was born, my name was Teresa K. Moore. <laughs> <laughs> Wilma had not even picked out a boy's name. She grew up with a brother. She lived with Skeets. She had my older brother. She was sure her little baby was gonna be a girl. <laughs> so I have all last names. Stevens Spencer Moore. Stevens, S-T-E-V-E-N-S. -E Stevens Spencer Moore. Who knew? <laughs> I didn't know, I didn't know. And then your mother gets that guilt. Well, maybe I made him queer. Maybe I kept him in dresses too long. <laughs> I did talk to my brother as an adult, and he says, Do you remember when Wilma used to put dresses on you and make you dance in front of the company? I said, No, but I'm glad you told me. <laughs> I was lucky enough to start at the comedy store during the apex of comedy. Please welcome the stage, Mr. Jay Leno. Let him hear it. Come on, put them together. David Letterman in the house. Put them together. Let him hear it. David Letterman. Put your hands together for Cheech and Chong. Come on, let him hear it. Mr. Freddie Prince in the house. Freddie Prince. Put them together. Freddie Prince. Yeah, all right. Put your hands together for Miss Lois Bromfield. Lois who? <laughs> Hi Steve, it's Lois Bromfield calling. You know, I'm from Canada and I was talking to Sandra Bernhard and she said you're a really, really nice guy and you know, I need to marry somebody so I can stay in this country and get a green card and go to work. Maybe you would marry me. Would you marry me so I can stay in the country? Would you marry me? Oh, sure. <laughs> oh, God knows there's nothing else going on in my career. At least you're pretty. Sure. And the next thing I know, I'm getting married to a lesbian from Canada. <laughs> so there we were. They, they threw me a huge bachelor party up at one of Mitzi Shore's mansions on the hill behind the comedy store there. Typical bachelor party. I don't remember much of it because I got really, really fucked up. There I stand in tails and a top hat, my lovely fiance, of course, in jeans and a t-shirt. <laughs> and just mad as hell. <laughs> But the Moors are not like other people. <laughs> people were actually jealous of the Moors' marriage. They had the best marriage ever. The Moors. Oh, you're going on the road this week? Who are you performing with? The Moors? Oh, you're so lucky. You know, they're not like other people. <laughs> They're different. <laughs> so there we were, and we did have a really good marriage. We were good friends. 
and it was easy for me to be gay. Now, here's the treat. For a treat for me, Lois says, I'm going to fly your parents, Dietz and Wilma, out for Christmas. There we lived in one of Mitzi Shore's houses in Beverly Hills because we were also legal guardians to Polly Shore. This <laughs> 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 doesn't seem right, does it? <laughs> so here's Skeets and Wilma. They come in from Virginia. My dad had never even been inside an airplane before. They fly to Beverly Hills. I've never told them that I'm gay. And yet, they walk up and go, Mom, Dad, this is my wife, Lois, her lover, Christine, and our child, Polly Shore. Thank you. 